Hey, what's going on guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here and today we will be looking at uh, an application that I got and it's, uh, where is it? Oh, it's right here. It's called Office Suite Pro. We will also be looking at Documents to Go and all of Office, I think it's premium, but we will be looking at that um, maybe later today or later this week. So, Office Suite Pro is the application that we will be reviewing right now. Uh, so, they ask you to register, don't ask again. Uh, we don't really want to register, whatever. Okay, um, so, this is kind of like the main menu. You could, uh, you could find files on your external storage or internal storage. You could look at your documents or your recent files or you could go ahead and create a new document. You have the option of creating a Word document, Excel, workbook or a PowerPoint presentation. I've already kind of played around with this app and I'm, I could say that the PowerPoint compared to um, Kingsoft Office PowerPoint seems to be a lot nicer uh, on this version so we'll just go ahead and start with the word uh, the word is really nothing too fancy as you could see um, it's like I have the I don't know has like a little maybe if you ho hold in portrait mode it's uh, it has a bigger kinda typing space so you could see more of what you wrote um, but I'm just going to keep it horizontal for the video. So, as you could see, you could type, and I spell world wrong. And, um, let's see what options we have here. Uh, back. So, you have the option of selecting the text. Uh, making it bold, italicized, underlined. Italicized doesn't seem to really do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, which is kind of weird. And to like select the, uh, well, I just auto corrected it to worldwide. To select the text, uh, you wanna, ki you wanna kind of like double. I think you could. I'm having trouble. You dabble. You should double tap it. I don't know. Keeps popping the keyboard up. Maybe you have to hold it. Uh, oh, you could start selection like this. There we go. I don't know why this will move towards the end, but whatever. Then you could kind of center your text, or you could start it from like the left side. Uh, could have points or you could have well that's numerical or you could have point form here um, you could highlight your text and I think oh you could also change your co font color okay and our font now will we will type in red now I can't type when I want to type. Well, we could just select this red. There we go. So worldwide. Um, then you have the option of printing from your device, and you must save before you print. Kind of makes sense. Um, and then you have at the top you have the undo button. You could undo, then redo, and save button, of course. We're going to go back. We don't want to really save this right now. We're going to go ahead and look at the Excel spreadsheet. So Excel looks pretty nice. You get three sheets, same same kind of format. You got graphs over here. You could choose from different type of graphs. You got the pie graph, stacked, line clustered you got a whole bunch of different graphs you could choose from which is pretty awesome uh, percentage 
dollar amount you just select it to the cell that you enter once again you could highlight cells um, this is a filter so this is actually pretty useful um, at my old work I actually used filters a lot in Excel and it's very useful for reviewing data and there you have the print button and once again uh, you have the formula thing at the top here you could enter a formula um, well actually it's function sorry you could pick from whether it's going to be what kind of function is it going to be a math trig logical statistical text reference financial stuff like that so anyone who's going to be using Excel is very familiar with the layout it's exactly pretty much the same as it is on Microsoft Office and so we're gonna once again you have uh, you could uh, change the font size and stuff underline strike text color background color text background and stuff like that you got all this stuff here size sizes go up to 72 I don't know if you could make you got a couple fonts here uh, five in total I think Two, three, four, eight. yeah and okay you also got the underlying strike through colors and stuff um, yeah so that's pretty much it for the spreadsheets and let's go back and look at PowerPoint so PowerPoint the first thing that I found really cool about this I don't know if you could do this uh, in Kingsoft I haven't really used it for quite a bit but you could select a template and it like it allows like your uh, presentation to have like a nice feel to it it's not with the plain white background and you have a couple of the here I just want to go back because uh, usually people like businessmen would be interested in something portable like this you could edit your PowerPoint presentation on the way to work if you're taking the subway or whatever and as you can see there's like a business type of um, uh, theme layout so you got the body text you could move it around you could rotate it we'll just kind of type something in for the sake of this okay so next uh, we're gonna go back so you could so select it well select the text box I think yeah and you can rotate it you could like put it like this um not really sure if you could uh uh, file. I w I'm wondering if we could uh, import pictures, but I don't think so. Protect, close. Let's see what else we had here. Edit, toggle keyboard, undo, format, increase, indent, remove bulletin. Yeah, so I don't. It doesn't look like you could uh, input pictures you could just make a text based presentation It'd be pretty awesome if you could oh actually insert oh yeah you can insert pictures insert slide insert text which is oh that's actually perfect I wonder if insert text means um, that you could import well oh, never mind it just gives you that uh, there's a couple other settings uh, wait what are we why can't I see that menu anymore Oh, we can't be select. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't see it before. You can't have your tech. So you could also go into the slideshow. You could, yeah. So you could start the slideshow. I'm pretty sure there's a way to like use your device as like a remote and have it connected to the computer or a projector, and you could run your presentation that way. Um, and what was this 
outline view here. Oh, so you see what you have written on each slide and you could edit it here and then you could format the way it looks uh, on the slides instead of having to type on here which makes sense um, so that's it pretty much for the PowerPoint there are a couple themes and I wonder if you could actually import themes and you could just save your uh, documents to see you could make a document file you could make a folder on your SD card where it saves either on the internal or external since if you have one um, you could download dictionaries as it says here we don't even have Wi-Fi on right now so it doesn't matter um, yeah but that's it for uh, Mobi Systems Office Suite 6 uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF on your Android phone. So this is a great application. I bought it on the Android. It's not called the Android Market anymore. Through uh, on the Play Store, it was actually on sale. Uh, if you check out one of my previous videos, uh, there's this link that I found, and it it's uh, every day. I think it's every day. I'm not really sure right now, but uh, there are sales that go on on the Play Store and they post apps on that link that are 75% uh, off or more and you could get like really good deals like yesterday I bought Sketchbook for 25 cents World of Goo for 25 cents and yeah so uh, it's pretty cool, so uh, be sure to check out my previous videos as well. Subscribe, give me a like, and that's going to be it for today's, uh, well, this review. Maybe I'll be posting another one. I'm kind of on a roll with videos today. It's my third one today. Uh, anyways, guys, so thanks for watching once again, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.